Is your room cluttered? Do you have a lot of things everywhere? Hey guys, it's Allie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about things I will stop purchasing in 2020. I can't believe the year is coming to an end, but I'm really excited to start fresh and to declutter my room. I have financial goals for 2020, which is having my own apartment, and that means cutting down on excessive items that I don't really need in my life. So I wanted to put a disclaimer out there. This is just a personal list of things that I won't be buying. So if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking on that red button down below. Don't forget to click on that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. Go. Before we start the video, I wanted to point out my hair. I know there's a strand right here that's a little bit hot pink. Let's just ignore that for this video. So we all have those impulse buys and this was definitely one of them. So I went to this fast fashion store, looked around, got super sucked in because everything was like two for $35. Plus there's like a discount because of the conversion rate. So I got sucked in, I bought this and it's literally falling apart already. So this material is made out of a linen that's a little bit itchy. You can see like strings coming out. Even though the design is super cute, I know this is not made to last. So it is possible to get really good pieces at a low price point. You just have to be more selective. An example is this mock neck sweater that I've been wearing over and over again for the past three years from Forever 21. As a fashion vlogger, I want to be more conscious on how I buy my clothes. Okay, let's be real. We could be taking better care of the planet. And one goal I have for 2020 is to use less single-use plastic. I know it's really convenient to just grab a bottle of water or to grab a to-go coffee cup. It's so easy. So one simple thing that I will be doing in 2020 is to bring along reusable grocery bags everywhere I go. This one's really nice because it packs down. Also because it's rainbow and it's fun looking, I'm more likely to use this again and again and again <laughs> and again. <laughs> Look at all my new headbands! Uh, but do I really need this many? When am I actually gonna wear this bright neon yellow one? Honestly, I grew up with this mentality that the apocalypse is coming, the world is going to end, so it's really important for me to stock up on literally everything, like this six pack of clips. Have you ever gone shopping and wanted to buy one thing, literally one headband, but it came in a pack of six? Am I really going to get good use out of these additional items? Probably not. So if you do have leftover, you could probably gift it to a friend, but otherwise I would just go with the single item. So I'm trying to create a new fashion trend for 2020 and it's a layered headband look. So here we go. Oh, subscription services. I know they're pretty beneficial sometimes, but when you think about it, there's like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and then you have your workout ones. I can't believe when I went on vacation, I forgot to cancel my ClassPass subscription. Hi, I'm ClassPass. Do you remember me? You signed up for a trial, but forgot to cancel, and now you're being charged $60 a month. And you're still not fit. Hi, I'm Netflix. You forgot to chill with me this month, but I still charged you $7.99. Hi, I'm a makeup subscription box. I show up at your doorstep once a month and you'll probably never use me. I've been charged about $60 to $70 per month and I completely forgot about it. So we end up signing up for a lot of subscription services, but it ends up getting very excessive. If you have a lot of subscription services like I do, you can use things like Truebill to keep track of everything you're subscribed to. You can easily cancel them right from the app and that way you can stay on top of your finances this holiday season. The fifth category I want to cut down on in 2020 is makeup. So makeup companies will launch new products every single month and sometimes they have duplicates. I'm not lying when I'm telling you I think I have a makeup addiction. I have so many different eyeshadow palettes when really I can only use one. 
So different ways you can reduce your makeup consumption is by unfollowing certain makeup accounts. So you can also unsubscribe from certain makeup newsletters, things that pop up on your phone every single morning that tempts you to buy more makeup. You should probably cut those out of your life. So just be aware of what's already in your collection and what you need and what you don't need. You're, you're looking a little sweaty right now. Give this video a thumbs up if you kill your plants too. Like, come on, let's be real. Okay, not all of us are blessed as hashtag plant ladies. I just have this bad habit of killing all of my plants. Oh, oh, sorry plant. Fiddle leaf fig, I swear it's molding a bit. And then there's sections that are missing and the leaves are super sparse. And what has worked for me is having fake plants. I travel a lot, my room doesn't get that much direct sunlight and these just will last longer. I know we all have these pieces in our closet, low cut tops, pants that are too long for you or too tight. I definitely went through a phase in my early 20s where I really enjoyed buying low cut tops because I thought it made me look sexier. But at the same time, I never wore them out because look at me, my boobs are literally hanging out. Like at any hot second, I can have a dip slip. So if you do struggle with low cut tops like me, here's a quick little hack that you could try. So I decided to wear my top backwards. Yes, I said backwards. So the back is low cut and it looks really nice and then the front is a lot more conservative so you don't have to worry about that nip slip moment because you're all covered up. I love me a good thrift store find. These were super affordable but at the same time my closet is starting to feel like a thrift store. Everything is super random, very weird looking and it doesn't look very cohesive. Like, this is such a great find. I will wear this every single day. Go into a thrift store with a purpose. Don't just shop just because things are cheap. Um, I definitely have fallen into that trap. We want to make sure that our closet and style look cohesive and put together. Those are my top eight categories of things I won't be purchasing in 2020. So let me know down below in the comments. Did I forget anything? So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to make a video on my worst purchases I made in my 20s because girl, I spent a lot of money on some shit and <laughs> I really regret it. If you wanna see more videos from me, click right here and don't forget to click right here to subscribe.